Good morning, YouTube. So we actually slept here at the Hemenji Park. Right behind me here, actually, is where we slept. We're going to make our way to the Hemji Castle, which is actually right here in front of me. There she is right there. Cool. I actually got a really good night's sleep last night. Those benches were actually curved to sort of shape your body, and it was just the most comfiest night's sleep I've probably had this whole trip. How was your sleep? We were talking about it. Yours was pretty comfortable, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, you would think that a bench would be uncomfortable, but now yeah. I see why homeless people love sleeping on benches. Yeah, there was like seven or eight benches in that little area that we slept at, and normally they put like these little armrests like sort of between the benches. Luckily for us, they weren't there. We're making our way into Hemenji Castle. Hopefully it doesn't cost a fortune. So this castle was actually built around mid-1300s. Yeah. Thank you. We made it inside the castle. It actually cost a thousand yen, so ten bucks. So it was the year 1333 when Okamatsu Norimura, he raised an army and built a fort here. So one of the features that make the castle actually quite stunningly beautiful is the design of the roof, like the tiles, they're flat tiles and curved tiles that sit on top of the roof. And for example, if you can see on the edge of this roof here, they put these ridge end tiles and eave end tiles as uh, proof of repairs that have been taken out by lords in the past. So I'm quite impressed with the setup of this castle so far. They have pamphlets in English and they also have it in many other languages as well but there's so much information in here and I'm just reading everything off here and telling you guys all about it I actually discovered the shooting holes page right here and there they are shooting holes they actually have these in a variety of shapes and they're basically designed so that back in the day they'd get any weapon like an arrow a gun or something kneel down there and, and shoot through the hole and there's actually 997 of these openings they're actually called summer so the thick latticed windows on the castle are designed to prevent intrusion and enemy bullets and arrows from entering through the castle. This design of window can also be found at Buddhist temples. A quick facts lesson. I've got the information here. I'm gonna run through with you guys some facts about this castle. So the height of the main keep is 91.9 meters above sea level. Its actual height is 45.6 meters. And the weight of the main keep is 5,700 tons. That's just an estimated weight though. It also has a number of 27 towers, has a total of 21 gates, and also it has 997 total shooting holes, 848 for guns and 153 for bows. And also it has 11 whales as well. So a little trick the Japanese know a lot of is covering all the, the walls of the castle and the eaves with three centimeters thick of plaster that includes many other materials as well. So the plaster mixture is made of slaked lime, shell ash, hemp fiber and also seaweed. So it ensures that the castle is fire, wind and basically any disaster proof, snow proof. They also have an app here, it's called the AR app which I think it's downloaded and everything you can point or like scan a specific part of the castle and it will give you heaps of information. They do call it the castle of miracles. During World War II it was actually bombed twice. I think the second time it was almost successful enough to destroy the building however considering the whole city was in ruins people were actually shedding tears because the castle was still standing <laughs> So right now I'm in the main keep of the castle, so this is probably where you want it to be. It's also a pretty good view out there too. To be honest, it's actually pretty stuffy in here. It's good to just stand by the window and get the cold breeze coming in. Also, the steps leading up are quite steep as well. So we're actually here on the third floor. There's actually seven floors to this castle, but here on the third floor, there is the west main pillar running from the ground to the top of the main keep up above and it has to hold a total weight of 5,700 tons. There's also a second pillar called the East Pillar, which is the older pillar of the two, dating back to like 400 years ago. But the West Pillar behind me has a height of about 25 meters, and it also is made up of two very big trees. Behind me here is the Osakebi Shrine. It's actually creating quite a lot of interest. There's a heap of people here that are going up to it, ringing the bell, and then bowing, paying their respects. Tumble me, can you pleasure without pain? 
up the top there was getting quite stuffy. There was quite a few stinky bodies and stinky feet. So um, it was good to get out of there. And if you're an NBA basketball player, you definitely have some difficulties ducking under these. So about 150 years ago, at the end of the samurai period, um, this was actually considered an abandoned castle and they all wanted them destroyed so it went up for auction and it only sold for 23 and a half yen which is about equivalent to 100,000 yen of today's money which is about $10,000 but it was regained by the army and further used for war. It was the funniest thing, when we were walking out of the castle, all I heard was school kids saying, YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber. I must have seen Eric sign on his back. So let's see if the bikes are still here behind this bush. Oh, oh, the crows have got into the food. Oh no, crow just flew away. Oh no. The bag of rubbish is everywhere. The crows got into it. However, the bikes are still there. I'm going to clean this up. So the rain's coming down even harder now. We actually found this undercover area. So we're going to cook up some lunch. So we made it to a Macca's. We're actually going to do a 24 hour challenge here at a McDonald's. So if you're watching this after this video has been posted and tomorrow's video as well, I'll have a link below for that video where we're gonna spend 24 hours in this McDonald's here. But that's it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also drop a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, please let me know on any feedback or anything to help me improve these videos to make it much more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.